All right, here we go. Porn video. Generation porn. That's what I think I'm going to call it. Let me have a sip of freaking LaCroix. I'm not a big LaCroix fan. That's all I got in the house. Okay. All right, generation porn. Um, if you if you like porn, this might not be the video for you. Actually, if you like porn, you should hang around and watch it. Okay, seriously. And if you are struggling with porn, hunker down. Here we go. All right. Okay, um, pornography, my freaking goodness. That's why I'm naming this Generation Porn. It's, we are Generation Porn. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. I'm 32. Uh, I talk to, I talk to 17 year olds all the way up to guys in their 60s that freaking struggle with porn. They don't like it. They don't like that they look at it and they don't for a while and then they do and, uh, you know, what happens a lot of times is, you know, like with myself, okay, with myself, when I fall, if you know, fall back into pornography, I'm tempted and I go back into pornography for like a day or something, I'll freaking look at it a lot of times, not all the times, but because uh, I'll feel bad and I'll like stop or whatever the next time that I want to, I mean, but, but a lot of times dude, it just spirals out of control and you look at it like seven times a day, like just that one day, damn it, I screwed up and then boom, rip, you rip off seven, eight times, you know. And uh, you're trying to fill that void, fill the void. Because it's only, yeah, it's only gratification for a little bit. Instant, you know, it's just instant gratification. It only lasts a little bit. And then when you do it, you have guilt, you have shame, you feel kind of gross. Because it's wrong. It's wrong. It's freaking wrong. We know it's wrong, okay? Those, you know, at the end of the day, those are people, I know that they're doing it on their own free will. But those are, those are daughters, okay? Uh, come on. We, we know it's not right to watch people have sex, you know, uh, and have group sex and do, do anything, nothing, you know, there's no limit anymore at all that they, sh I mean, there's freaking everything. Okay. And it just keeps, keeps progressing and progressing and progressing. And then you get numb to it. You get, it becomes the norm. You want to up the ante and then, uh, you know, uh, anyway, it, uh, it's tough to kick, dude. It's freaking tough to kick. You'll hate it. You'll hate it one minute and say, I'll never do it again. And then, you know, not too long down the road, you just can't. It's like you can't freaking stop it. You can't fight it. Like there's just, it's like there's no freaking way, right? Um, but, you know, okay. Starts young. Starts young with, the, with generation porn people like us. You know, I looked at porn in magazines, you know, when I was four back in, I almost said the 80s, but it, it would have been like, it would have been 92, all right, right in there. Uh, they're probably old 80s magazines, though, you know, okay, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, uh, but started young, and I freaking loved it right away. I didn't even know exactly what it was, but, sorry, this is going to get a little, whatever, I'm just going to speak, but my, you know what, my wiener liked it, all right? At a young age, and you don't, you don't, you don't know what's going on, but you just know you got these things going on. That's the thing. God built us. We want to have sex. We want to have sex. It's it's hard not to look at women and blah 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 and all that. It's a, it's a constant battle. Okay. Um, man, I'm thirsty. I'm guzzling that. I need to slow down because I'm going to run out. All right. Uh, but uh, dude, when it starts at a young age like that, dude, it's just it's rooted in you. And then so this is what happened with me. Okay. So yeah, I looked at it when I was four blah, 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 and it was just always around me, always magazines, so I was always looking at them as a kid, and uh, I'm not going to get into everything, but uh, it definitely messes with you sexually at, at a young age, it's very odd, uh, well, not odd, actually, it really, you know, a psychologist would tell you, like, yeah, that's that's what it does, they, they see this over and over and over again, uh, but it gets so deep-rooted so then, so then, yeah, so I'm looking at as much as I can. Magazines, blah, blah, blah. Well, then the internet comes. And once the internet came, it was on. I mean, it was freaking on. I mean, I, I literally looked at porn as much as I possibly could without my parents knowing. I mean, it was like, oh, they went to bed. Oh, my mom left. I mean, it was like, dude, it was like as soon as I could, it was like, oh, okay, I'm going to look up. I'm looking at porn. I'm going to look at as much as I can. I'm just going to keep jacking off. I'm sorry, but jacking off over and over and over again. Uh, and then that becomes the norm. I mean, dude, like in high school, it was like, yeah, I looked at porn every day, five to 10 times a freaking day. It was the norm. My friends did it. We all, I talked to all y'all. They, that's what, that's what you freaking do. That's what we did. And, uh, and, uh, and it just becomes the way of life. 
with generation porn. And, uh, and so you grow up, like you go through middle school, you go through high school, blah, blah, blah. And you get out. And I mean, it just continues. Cause that, that's, that's what it is. And it screws up your perception of sex, you know, the, the reality of it and the expectations that I said, but the, uh, it just, it Fs with everything. It's, it's, it's artificial. It's artificial. Just like freaking drugs, dude. It's artificial. It's fake. It's freaking pictures of other people having sex. It's all fantasy. It's all just superficial bullshit, dude. That's what it is. I'm going to cuss. It is bullshit. And, uh, we got to learn to hate it. We got to freaking learn to ha hate it. Yeah, I don't have all these, dude. I'm just, we're just talking, dude. And, uh, it's, it's artificial. It's fake punk, baby. Um, and, uh, anyway, okay, sorry. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it gets so deep rooted. Like you just can't, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's in you and it's freaking hard, dude. It's freaking hard to, to deconstruct all that and shake it all off. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it ruins relationships, dude. You know, not having sex, you know, um, you know, with your significant other and, you know, you need more stimulation and it maybe just hurts your wife or your husband. I'm, I would assume mo mostly hurts your wife because I'm sure most of this is geared toward guys. Although there's a few ladies out there that I've talked to that say that they struggle with porn as well on this channel. Um, but, uh, you know, it becomes so normal too. you know, I talk to a lot of wives that are like, you know, I don't, I don't even care that my husband looks at porn, you know, anymore. I just, I just don't care. I let him do his thing and, and that sucks because you know what I'm telling you, it's not normal. It's not normal watching people have sex. I think I already said that. It's not normal. We need to break through this bullshit in this society. No, it's not effing normal. No, it's not right. God doesn't want us to do it. And I guarantee you it freaking hurts your wife to some extent, even if she says it doesn't. It's not right, okay? Um, and we need to quit telling ourselves that. Quit lying. We need to quit lying to ourselves uh, that it's right and that it's okay and it's just the norm. No, bullshit. Bullshit, okay? It's not. It's a freaking lie. Um, you know, just cause our society changes doesn't mean we're good. We're more, we'll be figuring it out as time goes on. You know, the Nazis were really freaking advanced. They're the most advanced. I mean, seriously, uh, doesn't mean that they were morally and, and you know what they did, the norms that they did were right. Okay. Just cause it's a human norm doesn't mean shit. Sorry. Uh, it's what God says. I'm sorry. No, I'm like, God, Jesus. And shh. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but yes, yeah, dude, dude, it gets so norm, dude, I, okay, I'm not, I know somebody that, uh, she bought her husband a thing, a, a deal that holds your, the phone in the shower so he can jack off in the shower. <laughs> they got kids, they got, but it's just like, yeah, so it got for like his birthday or Christmas or something. Like, no joke, to jack off in the shower. Yay. That's great for a society, right? Freaking great. It's at our fingertips. That's the thing. Phones, whatever. I mean, it's, it's all right there. It's, it, no, no one in human history has had that. Yes, there's kings that have had concubines. I mean, Solomon and David. I mean, come on. Uh, they had, which by the way, you know, people bring up polygamy in the Bible. Well, God never ordained it. He never, he, it's like from the beginning, one man, one fem, one, sorry, one male, one female. He never ordained it. They do the same thing with slavery. It's like God never, you know, was like. Anyway, in fact, if you ki if you kidnap and enslave, dude, the law, mo the law, you you, sh you executed. So so right there, when it's like, oh well, they, well, it just there was slavery in the Bible. So God just addressed that. I'm sorry, we're getting on slavery, all right? But we're slave to freaking porn <laughs> right now. Freaking can't stop looking at porn. We're freaking slave. We're it's bitch. Okay, we are. Well, yeah, we're weak. And it's freaking hard though. It's freaking hard. I understand. I'm I'm weak. I suck. I absolutely suck. Like I've always usually say on these videos, it's all pointed at me. This is therapeutic for me too, seriously. Um but uh yeah, we got to shake that and not let it become the norm like that. It's just such a freaking lie, dude. Uh but yeah, we've never had this. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, kings and whatever concubines but the average man, we're just, we're just the average people. You know, we'd be the freaking peasants back in the day or you know what I mean? We have it all at their fingertips. Everyone does. Everyone does. It's a, it's a big problem. It's a big problem all over the world. It's not just the West. Um, anyway. Okay. But, uh, but, uh, da, 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 but yeah, anyway, I guess I'll just leave. It's artificial. Okay. And when we look at it again and again and again, we're trying to fill a void that will never get full with porn. It'll never be satisfied. It'll never be over. We're all, you're always craving. It's never like, oh, this is the end. Now I'm complete. It's never like that. We know that. Okay. A little turns into a lot. 
blah, 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 blah. And, you know, people want that more than they actually want physical sex with their significant other. I have struggled with that in my freaking life, dude. Um, it's, uh, you know, you, yeah, you freaking release, uh, reward, you know, when you, when you, before you even look at porn and you, and you're getting all excited, dude, it's releasing chemicals, man. And it's like an addiction it, or it is an addiction. It really freaking is. Um, and, uh, we gotta, we gotta, dude, we gotta stop this crap. We gotta stop this crap together. Let's freaking do it together. If you're out there struggling with porn, let's freaking hop on board. Another thing that we're going to kick. All right. Seriously. That's what this is about, dude. This channel is about getting deconstructing and getting rid of all the crap that uh, that we're tired that that's that's not right in our lives, and we know it's not right. Things, you know, we want to better ourselves. It takes work. It's a grind, but uh, we're gonna keep moving forward with an honest heart. And uh, you know, you know, too. I mean, God sympathizes with our struggles. Okay. He sympathizes with our struggles. He 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 knows what it's like to have those feelings, and and I know I just know he looks down just so sad on, about how porn's everywhere and it's accessed so easily to so many and young people. It just hurts. It hurts me, dude. It just sucks. It's this generation porn, you know, and it's getting worse. That's the thing. It's worse now. It's not just magazine, you know. Now these young kids are the next generation porn, and then and then where's it gonna go? Then I mean, it's just gonna. It's not good. It's not good for society, dude. It's it's really freaking not. It's it's perverted. It's freaking perverted. All right. Let let's know that. We know it's we know it is. But yeah, guess what? I like it. I like it cuz I'm a dumbass. I mean, there you go. Let's admit it, right? I go back to it, you know? And it's just it freaking sucks, dude. There's honestly, I get more pissed off with porn than like anything. Like like just when I do it, it just sucks. It just it's cuz it's just so ridiculous. It's so quick. It's so it's like but you're drawn to it so hard so strongly and then it's just like up and over and you feel guilty and then you'll do it again it's just it's it's really it's weird it's crazy but it's the flesh dude and we're in we're in a battle with the flesh okay v for oh yeah look at that v for victory v, oh that v for oh i can't believe i ever thought about that before v for victory see how smart i am it only took 353 videos to figure that one out okay God bless all y'all, the dude. Okay, I'm the dude. No, I'm not the dude. This is the freaking dude right here. All right, the big, big Lebowski. Okay, God bless all y'all, V for victory. Or, I didn't say that right. God bless and salute. There you go.